Welcome to our tutorial on Weeder Robotics. In this episode, we're going to show you how to build and program the smart spinner. You can use the same steps to build and program any Weeder Robotics robot you want. It really isn't hard, we'll show you how we do it. It only takes a minute, no, oh, there's really nothing to it. We're the Goonies, and the Goonies never say die. No, we don't. Uh -uh. Today we'll build a spinner with a motor and a crown gear. With all that you've been learning, you can start a new career. We're the Goonies, and the Goonies never say die. Previously on our We Do Robotics tutorials, we showed you the airplane and alligator. Now it's time for something new. These are all the pieces you need to build this model. Don't worry, you don't have to memorize all these pieces. And this is what your smart spinner will look like when it's built. If you weren't here for our last two tutorials, when you open the WeDo software, this is where you'll find the step-by-step -step building instructions. Choose the smart spinner model and watch the video if you want, and then follow the step-by-step -step directions on the screen by clicking on the forward or back buttons. Here's how you build it. When you attach the other red beam with the 16 studs, make sure that the smaller gear is meshing with the crown gear, and make sure that the thin white plates are aligned perfectly. This is how it looks once you've built it. To get your top to spin, you must first insert the top into the smart spinner so that the gears mesh. Then hold the spinner parallel to the surface that your top will be spinning on, and start your program. When you're ready, Quickly lift the spinner straight up and watch your top spin. Now, instead of telling you how to program your spinner, we'd like to give you some challenges. These challenges are just for fun, so if you can't get them, it's okay. If you need to know what any of the program blocks in the palette do, just go back to our first and second tutorials. Before you get started on our challenges, we wanted to show you how to create a timer in the WeDo software because you're going to want to know how many seconds your top spins for. First, take the display block, it's the one with the numbers 1, 2, 3 on its laptop screen, and add it to the end of the program that you make. Have the display block show a zero underneath it in the number input. If you have not made your own program, then use the example program that the software provides. After you add the display block, add a repeat block after it. Then add a wait for block inside the repeat block. Make sure you have the number 10 inside the number input block. This will make the program wait one second before the next thing happens. After that, drag the add to display block after the wait for block and make sure it shows a 1 in the number input. After you add this to the end of your program, it will help you accurately count how long the top spins for. Now for your challenges. For your first challenge, you'll need to try to make the top spin for 20 seconds or more. Make sure you record your data so you know what works and what doesn't. For your second challenge, you'll need to try to make the top spin counterclockwise for less than 10 seconds. Again, record your data. The third and final challenge we'd like to give you is to see how long you can get a Lego figurine to stay attached to the top while it's spinning. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please let us know if this tutorial helped you and check out our other tutorials when they come out. We'll see you later. We're taking this top out for a spin. It really isn't hard, we'll show you how we do it It only takes a minute, no, oh, there's really nothing to it We're the Goonies, and the Goonies never say die No, we don't uh -uh. Today we'll build a spinner with a motor and a crown gear With all that you've been learning, 